people all these years. That's right. You should have been you should have been made before you even got here. Mm -hmm. But obviously you came here because you were broke where you were. And, and how did that happen? And now they got like these low all, all these low level peon Edomites, man. But they got uh they like a brother did a video on like uh, how it's two it's two like classes of Edomites in Tahoe. Uh, you know, it, and it's talking about like how they got the rich side, the people with, with the nice lakes and the nice views and the nice houses. But then the other Edomites sitting in like slums, man. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I commented. You know, that's just like that hourglass when it's tilting, and you, they see it. They're they're down. Uh, their troubles coming, man. You know, it's, it's dwindling yeah, away. Yeah, we being uh, set up in that righteous power, man. And that last little bead, that last little grain, is when your house shot gonna return, man. You know? And that's exactly how it's gonna be, man. If, if that was them in history, bro, there should be no no poor Edomite anywhere. Mm -hmm. Bro, there shouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? We in 2018, a lot of Jake is doing better than Esau. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, that's what Jake is doing, uh, becoming sellouts and all of that nonsense. Watch out, flexing this bird. Jake is becoming sellouts and all of that, that crazy stuff, man. You know? On the path, right? And that, like, you see that? They're, they're, the Lord will bring up examples, man. You know? The Lord brings up examples. He, and see, he'll, he'll do that, that, all that foolery on the street. But then, uh, that's just how, um... Uh, how, he, he'll think he on the way to uh, success. You know, they think walking around, getting people to hear his track. You know what I'm saying? But then as soon as they offer from that deal, you know what I'm saying? He gonna take it, man. Over that deal for us uh, to become to become a big celebrity or big star. A lot of the times, once they take it and they and they're establishing it for quite some time, mm -hmm. then they start to see uh, at least some truth about the other side. That's right. You know. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of those Jakes, man, they they be overdosing on drugs and stuff because they actually see what it's like to be on top and who they're amongst. The things they gotta sacrifice to get that shit. They, man. They, yeah. Selling it. You know, first of all, your soul is more than enough. <laughs> but they be sacrificing their soul. They be sacrificing their families. Sacrificing uh, they uh, they livelihood, you know. They uh, let men have sex with them, you know. Got to take a bride up the uh, up up the butt just to get the job, you know. Just become a big and, and celebrity. And be caught off guard about how loosely they talk about that stuff mm -hmm. on that level. Mm -hmm. They talk about killing people and all that kind of stuff, like like. Like it's nothing new to them. Mm -hmm. But we thinking all these years looking up to them like, oh, nah, they're not even on that shit. Oh, man. Yeah, right. That's right. That's right. We about to get into Jacob's trouble, though. Uh, let's get Jeremiah 38, 7. And uh, can you grab me, give me that martial law sign. Okay. I see you in like, uh, You know, uh, because the times that are coming to America is, oh, yeah, I wanted to mention, uh, you know, Jake that walked by earlier with, uh, he might have been a Jake, too, the weed thing. Yeah. Yeah, he, he most likely was Jake. He was a uh, northern tribe. But, you know, uh, you know, he, he, he'll say he willingly accept his, his death, as you should, as a real man should. But the Lord will have it grievous for you, man. Yeah, these times that are coming, he'll have, the Lord will plague your mind with uh give me any plague but the plague of the mind man you know the lord will have your mind plagued out here man you know uh these times that are coming here have your worst nightmares become your your destruction you know and that that's crazy man and you know these people they people be scared of shit like spiders and shit like everybody got his own fears but you know like real talk man my my you know my fear is the lord taking my the holy spirit away from me man that's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Anything else, man, hey, let it be done, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing I fear, man. All this other shit, man, we... You know, don't want to be no reprimand. Yeah, man. That's my fear, man. That's a fear. That's a crazy fear. <laughs> That's my fear, man. Fuck all of this carnal shit, man. Like, I get it. I used to be, like, scared of uh, heights and shit like that. Like, yeah, it ain't a cool feeling, but that ain't shit they don't... It don't, fit. I don't I ain't afraid of. You know what I'm saying? I'm afraid of Yahweh by Shemmy. I was shy, man. You know, that's 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 what the fear I have, man. And sometimes, like, uh, no, you, sometimes when you you know you going after you, you know you day to day, sometimes you don't feel as spiritual as you would like to be, mm -hmm. and then you just be praying to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Please don't take the spirit of truth from me. That's right. You know what I mean? Just be. That's right, man. I'm, I'm gonna get. This is what true fear is, man. This is Proverbs one and seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right. So the fear of the Lord is beginning of knowledge, man, and that's why. 
uh, the, the men of the Lord are out here to proclaim his name and proclaim the things that are coming. All right? That's how we obtain this knowledge, because we fear Yahweh by some Yahweh shy, man. It says, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right? So two-thirds of our people ain't going ain't gonna to hear this, man. They don't want to listen to that. They're going to they gonna think, hey, 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 you smoke weed. You know what I'm saying? That's all they're going to say, man. You know? But yeah, let's get into this Jacob's trouble, man. 30, 30 verse 7. Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Alas, for the day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. That's right, man. So it says, for the uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, there shall be not a, uh, a day like this, man. A great time, a great time of trouble, man, that's going to come on, upon our people, man. All right? But the only ones that are going to be saved out of that, and that time of Jacob's trouble is talking about martial law. Okay? Martial law. Even if you look at uh, the name of Walmart, if you flip it around, it spells martial law. Mart law. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be using these uh, different... Uh, Walmarts, Home Depots, Lowe's, all of these are going to be female internment camps, you know? Being able to uh, put these people in these camps, man. When these, these uh, your, your beloved uh, police police force, your beloved uh, armies, all right? They're going to take you people. They're going to be your enemies in that day, man, okay? Running up in your houses. We're going to get all of that, too. Uh, but let me, let's see. I think get 2nd Ezra 15, too. Uh, 15, 15 and 15, we can start there, you know, but when, I, when I was, those places that you love to go to, your Walmarts, your Home Depots, your Lowe's, you know, y'all gonna run up in there thinking y'all getting safety and from shelter, all right, they're gonna lock y'all up, man, those places that y'all love to shop at, they're gonna put y'all in camps, all right, and they're gonna torture y'all in those places, man, those are the things that's coming. Y'all think they got all these big ass stores just for uh, convenience and luxury? No, nah, man, they got a big, everything Esau do, man, he got a bigger plan behind it. You know what I'm saying? They don't build all these department stores just so you people can have all of the, uh, the joys that y'all want, you know? Oh, they like, oh, well, it's convenient. I can go to Walmart, I can get, shit, I can get my toiletries, I can get a grill, I can get clothes, I can get food, I can get everything I need at Walmart. They do that so they can accustom you to getting, on you're right, depending on them. You know, and these people is, this is a truly dependent nation, man. All right? There's no state of independence of uh, of uh, not flourishing on the land, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got, the only people who have uh, any land in this place are like farmers and stuff like that, and they're government owned. You know, and people don't know that, man. These, all these, uh, you know, different agricultural uh, farms and stuff, they're government owned. They had a, it's a movie on Netflix, it might have been documented, it got Danny Glover in it. And it talks about how he was the only like organic, uh, solely owned, uh, privately owned. He had his own little company. He was selling his organic food without the GMOs and all of that kind of stuff. And what did they do? They came in to try to buy it. He wouldn't sell. So what did they start doing? They started bringing up uh, false uh, grievances towards him, taxing him more, doing all of that stuff so they can own it, man. You know? So uh, all of these places that these people love to go to, man, it's government owned. You know, all these different facilities, all these big uh, department store shutdowns, Toys R Us, Macy's, all of that's for, for their convenience, man. You know? Uh, you can read that, Jeremiah 37, one more time, and then we can get Daniel 12 and 2. And you had the second Ezra, right? Yes. All right, we can get that next. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so none is like it. Mm. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. That's right. So it says none is like it, man. All right? It speaks about how this time that's coming is going to be a time like never before, man. Things are going to happen on the earth that you've never seen in your life, man. All these people walking up and down the streets from y'all now, who y'all think y'all just cool with, your friends, your neighbors, your family, all right? They're going to fight against you, man. All right? They're going to be your enemies in the times that's coming. All right? You people are going to be fighting over grains of grains of uh, rice, man. You people are going to be uh, fighting over a tomato. You people are going to be fighting over a potato, man. One loaf of bread is about to cost y'all hundreds of dollars, man. You people are going to be utterly destroyed in the times that are coming. All right? Let's get that second Ezra, brother. Second Ezra. I'm going to start at 14. Uh, 15 verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction 
draweth nigh. Mm -hmm. See, the, the Lord said the sword and the destruction draweth nigh, man. He didn't say peace and prosperity. He didn't say love and happiness. All right, he said sword and the destruction draweth nigh, man. Whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is about to bring sword and destruction upon this place, man. All right, and the sword don't mean you about to have a dude running down the street with an Excalibur in his hand. All right, the new the new swords are guns, uh, tanks, missiles, AK-47s. Those are the new gun. Those are the new swords, man. All right, and they, look, these people that think uh, these uh, NRA uh, groups and stuff like that. They gonna stop selling their sword. They gonna stop with the guns because of these uh, shootouts. They the ones that false flag in these shootouts, man. They just had the Bank of America uh, fund Remington for a new loan for millions of dollars so they can bring new guns in. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do, man. That's their lifestyle. All right. Esau ain't gonna go without his sword, man. What? That's his blessing, man. That's prize. Prize in that. That's right, man. You think he gonna give that up easily just because y'all got some school shootings? Nah, man. All right? If anything, it's going to encourage Esau to buy more guns. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. All right? So it says one people shall stand up to fight against another. That's speaking about the Israelites versus the Edomites, the Edomites versus the Moabites. All right? All these different uh, nationalities are going to fight against each other. And whom you even call Jesus Christ prophesied the same thing. He said, nation shall rise against nation. All right? That's race wars, man. Race wars are going to happen on the streets of America. Okay? That's prophesied in the Bible, man. Okay? Go ahead, brother. Oh, yeah. And swords in their hands. Mm. And swords in their hands, man. People ought to be out here with guns, shooting other people. All right? Knives, uh, stabbing other people. You know what I'm saying? All different kinds of weapons are going to pop off when, he, when the martial law comes, man. Baseball bats, iron rods. That's right. Uh, all that. Four ways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cats going to be having whatever they can to make a weapon out of, man. You know? Uh, it's, this, uh, it's this game called Last of Us. On that game, it's a PlayStation 3 game. On that game, you got to get, like, certain tools. And when you get certain tools, like, he'll take a, a, a rod and put, like, uh, some scissors on the end of it to make like, you know, to do more damage. Yeah, it's threshing instrument. And you know, that's what they're going to be doing when these times come, man. All these different swords going to come upon these people. A lot of people have a lot of great ideas. That's big, man. They go, you going to get crafty, man. I'm going to put the spear on them. <laughs> that's right, man. And these two-thirds of Jake about to get wild out here, man. <laughs> two-thirds, you know, Jake already can't control himself. <laughs> so he's going to get wild when he can't he can't eat, he can't feed his children. Is these Edomites running down the street, man. He's going to get crazy in these times, man. That's a bunch of Mike Tyson's that's going to be walking around mm -hmm. here, man. Hey, and that shit ain't no joke, man. Foaming out the mouth and shit. Mm-hmm. Ready to get busy. And see, they, they, they happy out here, man. These Edomites, they happy, man. That's why I say they prep, man. They get ready, <laughs> man. They just, man... The most I can let, let it happen now, man. That's right, man. Man. Hey, and we, we waiting for this crash of this dollar, too. Because this, this dollar is going to collapse. All right? So when this dollar collapses, y'all got all y'all cryptocurrencies and all that. All right? When that market of beast pop off and y'all got to put that chip in y'all hand, all right? You're, you're automatically subject to the uh, ways of the society, man. Okay? And the Lord's going to destroy you for that. All right? Go ahead, brother. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. That's right, man. Sedition among men, all right? Sedition means fights, man. You know, it's, it's going to be people fighting against each other, man. Okay? So, it's going to be sedition among men, all right? And it says they're not going to regard their kings nor their princes. Y'all governments ain't going to be able to do nothing for you, man. Y'all uh, governors, y'all presidents, Y'all Senate members, y'all House House uh, members, they don't gonna be able to do nothing for you in that day. All right, they know these times are coming. Y'all elites, they know martial law is coming, but they got y'all people in the utter darkness. Okay, they got you people foolishly walking around thinking everything is cool. Think, hey yo, let's in invite them to Sunfest this weekend while we prepare for martial law. Because a lot of these men are focused on their relationships and their women, mm -hmm. and that's keeping them safe. That's right. They forgot that they even men. That's right, man. You know, it, it, you know, it ain't nothing wrong with uh, having a woman, but the problem is you people put your woman above the law. You put your people, your woman above the Most High, man. Okay. So you you got your priorities messed up. All right. So uh, when that martial law comes, hey, your priorities gonna get fixed real quick, man. 
Oh. All right. Go ahead, brother. And, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You hear that? So y'all just y'all remember when Hurricane Irma came? All of them, they called it the great exodus out of Florida because everybody was trying to leave, right? All right, they're gonna have these armies uh, shut down your borders, man. You people from West Palm gonna be trying to make it into Tampa. All right, it ain't gonna happen, man. It says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. All right, all of you people who, who think y'all live in uh, Miami, fancy place. All right, y'all ain't gonna be able to make it up to Boynton Beach. <laughs> it ain't happening, man. And along the coast, if, if, if you guys are in Florida, you'll realize that from basically from uh, Palm Beach all the way down, there's basically bridges, you know, because you got to cross over the bridges to go into the island. Mm -hmm. And that day, all the bridges are, them bridges are going to come up and separate themselves from everybody That's else. That's right. That's right. And they got that long body of water that you got to get through just to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. Hey, motherfuckers going to be jumping off of the bridge, huh. trying to swim. Huh. Thing ain't going to swim, man. And they're going to die before they even get to the That's other side. That's right, man. And these, these, these army members and y'all coast guards, they're going to they gonna be shooting people at blank point, man. If they tell you to uh, freeze at that time and you ain't listening, they might shoot you anyway, man. They already shoot people down for no reason. They already shoot Jake down for no reason. Uh, I be driving around my own city, or well, you know, my own county, and I, and, I, and, I, and I realize and I start to see that there's actually little small towns in the crevices of, like, certain parts of the Bigger city. Places, like yeah. com like uh, communities and stuff like that that they hide. Mm -hmm. You know, it'll be like between major highways or whatever, mm -hmm. but they're there and yeah. you don't know that. That's right. All you see is like a small passageway, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You're right, you're right, brother. I I've seen that several times too, man. And you, you won't even know they're hitting off in there, man. You wouldn't even know. You know? But these, these people going to desire to go into that city and shall not be able, man. The Lord's going to shut all of that down, man. Bro, I, I stay in Riviera Beach, bro. Mm -hmm. Woodbine is there. Mm -hmm. Bro, when you, you look at the just the front, you don't see, you don't think there's much behind it. As soon as you go in there, it opens up, you see like valleys and, and like uh, fucking green grass everywhere and big homes. I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? Right. Popped up out of nowhere, man. Out of nowhere, bro. Mm -hmm. That's how they do, man. They, they build in little areas, you know what I'm saying? Try to do it discreetly. Yes, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Right. They hide it, man, you know? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, man. And when you, hey, the, 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 the Lord picks certain words, man. Desire, man. All right? So you're going to do everything in your power to get out, man. you like, you're going to talk to, uh, talking to uh, Cousin Jerome who stay in Georgia. you be like, hey, I'm about to try to make it up there. Nah. Oh, they ain't going to be no cell phones. ain't going to be no cell phones, right. It ain't going to be no cell phones. They, you know, they're they going to hit that uh, blackout. You know what I'm saying? That the family of the words going to come. That EMP uh, electromagnetic pulse is gonna pop off. You know, ain't gonna be no internet, ain't gonna be no phones. You know, all that stuff is about to come to naught, man. And this is what I believe too. Uh, I believe a lot of these masons, mm -hmm. they have these uh, portable radios. They got uh, the big antennas in their house got, and stuff like that. Yeah, they got those, the big antennas, but they also have like the uh, analog uh, systems. And just like uh, if you see like a lot of the. So like the cocaine like movies with Pablo Escobar, they got like those satellite phones and stuff like that. They'll try to use those, you know, they, because the elite's still going to have a way to, to communicate. communicate. You know what I'm saying? They're going to have a way to communicate up until a certain point, you know, but the Lord's going to stop all that too. But they, that's the thing, man. These people throw us these, uh, these expensive, cheap ass phones. And pe people now, they can't live without them, man. Could you imagine and that, what that's going to be like? That's going to be crazy, man. You know, you you people, these people do live off of their phones, man. They need their phone for everything. You know, and I get it. Like, I get the point that you know you need your communication. You you need to do what you want. But you know, sometimes it's like, hey, man, you got put the phone down, man. You know, you don't know, people don't know how to live without it, man. Got this social media. If you don't see people, be, they be having girls freak out because uh, they they ain't seen somebody make an Instagram post in a while, or that they selfie look bad. You know, all that kind of stuff, man. But these treacherous times about to come upon this place. The last thing you're gonna these uh these people gonna be thinking about is how pretty they look, man. I guarantee it. Uh, and you know what? I often think about the most high created these people. Mm -hmm. Jake gonna remember how intelligent they actually are, and all our enemies are gonna remember how great we are. That's right. In that day. That's right, man. You know. They're gonna remember. And, and they they act forgetful now. Yeah, they get forgetful. You know, now. they act forgetful. You know, and matter of fact, they ain't even forgiver. They they're negligent to it, man. You know, they don't want they don't want to believe that. All right, you don't want to believe that the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the princes of the power. Okay, that, that's too high of a thing, man. 
All right? That's too high for a fool. Because once these like, once these niggas right here get that shit together, they might they might fail a few missions. But eventually, <laughs> they gonna get it right. That's right, man. You know? And the, the oh, and man, we gonna get it in a minute. But you know, the Lord is gonna put them spiritual powers on his one third. Huh. You know, huh. the Lord, the Lord willing, we those men, man. Huh. You know, because that's that's gonna be beautiful, man. Huh. You know, and that's why you gotta stay diligent in this thing, man. All right? Because hey, uh, can you imagine that in times where these people out here got carnal weapons and stuff, but the Lord is giving you a, a, a divine power, man. Huh. You know, something to keep uh, all of your enemies at bay. Huh. All right? Go ahead, brother. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. That's right. So the houses are going to be destroyed, man. Your houses are going to be destroyed, man, because y'all going to be the, people going to be in a, uh, ran up in them, taking all the goods out of them. People going to be making their little home makeshift bombs. People gonna be uh coming in wrecking wrecking shop, shooting them down, taking tearing these places down brick by brick. These armies gonna come in with their guns, shooting them up, shooting them with tanks. Their house is gonna be destroyed, man. It says, and men shall be afraid, man. You know, and it, it speaks about how men shall be afraid uh, in Isaiah 13, how they're troubled with pains as a woman in, in travail, man. You know, these, these men out here gonna be like women, crying, man. Men gonna be afraid, pissing their pants, man. All right. Only, only the men of the Lord are going to have uh, that understanding of that day, man. Their heart shall faint, man, for fear. That's right, man. People heart, heart, the people going to be having heart attacks out here, man. All, all of y'all men that y'all think are big and strong, man, they're going to be they're gonna be acting like little sissies in that day, man. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. You see that? A man gonna have no pity on his neighbor, man. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be dudes out here, uh, you 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 know next door is like, hey yo, Bob gave me some sugar uh, that I needed earlier. Oh yeah, what he, else he got? Yeah, right, you know, he, Bob's gonna come over there that day that you don't, it's gonna be families, because these people don't watch the news. Huh. These people don't watch uh, nothing but cartoons and social media, huh. all right? So it's gonna be it's gonna be families that don't know. Uh, so Bob gonna come in your door. You don't think me ask for some sugar, uh, but next thing you know, he's gonna have a barrel to your face. Uh, all right, ready to. Uh, and he gonna have no pity upon you uh, because he not you're not gonna be his friend in that day, man. Uh, all right, y'all gonna be all this neighborly stuff is gonna be thrown out the door, man. All right, go ahead, brother. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses. With the sword. That's right, man. Destroy with the sword, man. Gonna come to your house with a pistol. Con. And you people are gonna be like, oh, why is Bob doing this? Con. All right, that's according to prophecy, man. Con. All right, go ahead, brother. And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. See that? Spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. So they can't feed their family. So uh, they need to take what you got. All right? And it's what spoil their goods, man. That's taking it, whatever you got, all of these doomsday preppers, all of you people stashing up food. All right, cans and water and all of that. All right, they, people gonna be spoiling, uh, running in your house, taking your goods, man. Okay, go ahead, brother. And great tribulation. Behold, saith the, saith the Most High, I will call together all the kings of the earth to re to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, and from the e from the east, and Lebanus to turn themselves one against another. That's right, so all of these different, uh, these different kings, these uh, presidents and prime ministers, they gonna reverence the Lord, man. They gonna be bowing down to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Your, your, your greatest of greats, man, gonna be bowing down to the Lord, man. All right, all the elites are gonna be bowing down to the Lord, man. It says every, every, eye, shall, every eye shall see, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess, man. All right. And repay the things that they have done to them, like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. See that? We're gonna repay y'all, man. You so called white people, you other nations, we're gonna repay y'all for what y'all did to us, man. All right? Y'all gonna receive a righteous reward of judgment, okay? 
We're gonna repay you for uh, uh, enslaving our ancestors, man. We're gonna repay you for uh, hanging them on trees, man. All right? You're gonna get a, a great repayment for what these nations have done to the children of Israel. And what you have done to his chosen, all right? His chosen, the one third of the children of Israel, man. Okay? Go ahead, brother. So will I do also and recompense in their bosom. Thus saith the Lord Power. Mm -hmm. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. That's right. So all you two thirds of you children of Israel, the Lord said he ain't gonna uh, he ain't gonna have no pity on you. He ain't gonna let you slide. He not gonna make it easy for you. All right. And all of the, uh, those that shed the blood of the innocent, man. So you so-called white people, you you demons out here, man. All right. The Lord's gonna the Lord's gonna show you judgment. All those innocent children, innocent innocent families that mm -hmm. died because of your wars, mm -hmm. you're gonna pay for that. That's right. You must pay for that. That's Thus right. saith the Lord. That's right. And it's coming, man. Whom you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ are going to be the ones to do it. Come. All right? So we, 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 right now, we seem docile because we sit on the corner. Come. We not out here with no guns and weapons. Come. But we got the greatest weapon known to man, man. Come. All right? This Bible out here can slice and dice you, man. Come. All right? And it's going to physically be done when the Lord returns. Come. All right? And my sword shall not cease over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. That's right. The fire is gone forth from his wrath mm -hmm. and hath consumed the foundations of the earth. That's right. So it, that fire is speaking about these thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. He says they're going to destroy the foundations of the earth, man. All right. And when you destroy something's foundation, is anything left on top of it? No, man. All right. When you take a house and you destroy the very, if you take a construction crane and take out the bottom of the house, that top gonna fall right off, man. Okay. So the Lord's about to bring thermonuclear missiles upon America, man. Intercontinental ballistic missiles are gonna be released upon this place, man. A whole lot of them. millions. All right. Because people, people's minds are small. They think one missile is gonna be shot in one direction. It ain't gonna be no other missile shot back. Right, they, they think, you know, since they watch the news, uh, people think if a missile comes to America, it's gonna hit Hawaii or Cali. Uh, That's all people think, man. Uh, all right, so, oh yeah, you know, we live in Florida, we'll be all right. You know, no, nah, man, the Lord is bringing 200 million missiles, which means it's gonna be missiles for every little inch of this country, man. That's why the most high increased knowledge on the earth. Mm -hmm. So they can have the technology to do that. That's right. That's See, right. people think, oh, I can't reach it. You said all these years, they just been sitting there doing nothing? Nah, man. Nah, man. Building the missiles, nah, man. They would like to thank you. They would like for you to believe that Kim Jong-un don't have the, the, the knowledge and the, the weapons to reach here. You guys to be crazy. Mm -hmm. Knowledge didn't stop nor start with you guys. That's right, man. <laughs> it's, always, it's always been here, man. I'm so proud to think that you got all the knowledge, man. That's right. That's that you the only person that got all the answers. Mm -hmm. That's a prideful spirit. That's right, man. And the Lord, the Lord's gonna take their pride out of the earth, man. You know, all, all them that are proud shall be brought low, man. All, all, all these so-called white people proud, man. All right, they're gonna be brought low, man. Yeah, y'all going into slavery. That said the Bible. That's right. You know, and, and see, that's a, that's a, that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. That's a hard pill to swallow, man. You know, I bet you when Moses was telling us, hey, we going into slavery, if we mess up, you think we, we went, we probably saw that pill like, hmm? But you know what I'm saying? But we like, hey man, we, we messed up, we ain't listen. So we had to do it. So y'all gotta swallow, y'all, it was a you shall drink of that cup, all right? So, and that's gonna, that cup, it ain't no little cup either. You know how they have like little sippy cups? You can get a swallow or something, like those little cups that give you out the little water dispenser? Nah, man, you got one of them big king-sized cups of slavery coming, man. All right? The Lord is going to give us a full day to get busy on these devils, man. I, I can't understand how people's thought process, that they would understand that we went into slavery, mm -hmm. and that was real and how it happened, mm -hmm. but when it's time for them to go into it, oh, it's impossible. That's right. What you mean? That's proud. They prideful, man. At that time, we were, we were the strongest nation in the earth. That's right. Okay, we were mm -hmm. separated, but mm -hmm. where we were, we dominated. That's right. Now mm -hmm. all of us, but we, we were taken down. That's right. And you know, just think about Joshua, man. The book of Joshua. Huh. He had, Joshua was getting busy on them nations, man. Huh. Huh. Joshua had the Israelites taking over all them different nations and all them different countries. Huh. All right? From border to sea, the sea to border, man. Huh. You know, uh, when, 